This Week in Agribusiness, serving America's most essential industry with agriculture broadcaster Orion Samuelson and yours truly, Max Armstrong, and featuring agriculture meteorologist Greg Solier. This Week in Agribusiness is brought to you by Firestone. You never farm alone. Farm show season is getting underway and some of these events are happening in person. Welcome to this week in agribusiness. Earlier this week, Des Moines, Iowa played host to its second in-person farm show in the month of January. When we think about agriculture, the importance of farm shows is often hard to overstate. It gives producers a chance to get out there, get hands-on with some new tech tools and technologies in the industry. And it's been tough this past year. There have been a lot of adjustments in order to make these farm shows happen. As we move in to 2021, we had the chance to visit the Iowa Ag Expo. That's a show which changed its name in 2021, in addition to a few other things in order to get off the ground. Well, the show actually started back in 1910, and uh, when we really got into the tractors and the power bringing in there, that's when we started to call it the Power Farming Show. Well, over the last few years, we're, you know, we're seeing all the, the biology and the micro, uh, microbiology and the fertilizer and more expansion in all those type of areas. So we still felt like the power really didn't quite fit the show anymore because it's so encompassing now. So that's why we changed it to the Ag Expo. So Tom, this is a different expo this year happening amidst all the COVID shenanigans. What have you guys had to change in order to make this event happen this year? Well, there are quite a few things. Uh, you know, we've, we worked with the Iowa Event Center on, uh, to provide a safe environment and uh, with our decorator. And it, as you can see down in the behind us, uh, the curtains are a little different with some taller side curtains so that the exhibitors can uh, sort of be in the back of their booth and social distance from their neighbors. Uh, we ask them also to have a little narrower booth so we have wider aisles. Uh, we've also added the uh, electronic uh, distribution of literature this year. It's sort of a new thing that uh, so farmers can text the exhibitor and download the literature so they don't have to have uh, touch any of the literature and such. Um, we're you know, providing a mask at the doors, uh, personalized hand sanitizers, uh, the event center is just doing additional cleaning. Um, so we, you know, we feel like uh, you know, the exhibitors and the, and the producers can have a safe environment. Now, looking down the hallways, we are seeing full booths. It certainly appears that you guys have a packed house here. What changed from the exhibitor perspective when you were putting together this show? Well, we have, you know, we've had some corporations that uh, couldn't participate because of travel restrictions, but at the same time, we had a lot of companies that had their first time opportunity to come to this event because we've always been sold out. And so that was sort of an opportunity for them to get, it, get their foot in the door. And, uh, you know, and I think over time, you know, people are just knowing that we have, we can provide a safe environment, that it can actually work. So some of the companies worked a little, you know, maybe had some of their field reps that normally are traveling, uh, said, hey, they can come. Uh, so, since we're the trade association for the farm equipment dealers, uh, a lot of our members stepped up and helping out with the major manufacturers, so Deer Case, New Holland Echoes here, and uh, some of the other short lines that uh, maybe couldn't come, but their reps helped uh, put the things together. Now, Tom, we're kind of in uncharted territory. Of course, every year you judge an event based on how well it performs. As you're looking out at this uncertainty, how will you guys determine if, if this year's event was a success? It shows uh, the feedback from the exhibitors. Uh, you know, it's, you know, ag agriculture, when we look at the number of producers and things, you know, attendance is not always the thing. It's just the quality of the attendees that are coming. And usually it's after the first day you get the feedback. It's like, hey, you know, we had all these good producers uh, here talking to us today. We took orders. We uh, got leads, different things like that. And that's usually what we gauge thing more off than we do any attendance.